Hello, this is Ashton Ekpetani and are you confused of where Oakville is and how far is it from Toronto? Stay tuned in this video I'm going to explain to you exactly where the town of Oakville is and how you can get to Toronto. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and every week or every few weeks I would uh, post a new videos describing and tell you exactly what you get involved with when you come to the town of Oakville. If you're interested to find out more of what's going on, what is the uh, price, what is the properties, homes, where you can find your way, what exists in Oakfield, is it a good place for families to live, of course stay tuned and I would uh, bring up more information that would help you to make the right choice. Okay, in this episode, we're going to talk about where Oakville is. I'm going to show you exactly in this map where the we, where we are located. Now, let's take a, let's dive in directly and take a look at what's happening here. And um, let me zoom back. Of course, this is Toronto, and I'm just going to explain to you everything on the map so you can get some good idea of uh, the location of Oakville. Now, this is Toronto right in the middle of the map now this is niagara falls if you come down here is buffalo is here all right so from buffalo if you want to come take niagara falls road comes all the way through st catherine's hamilton burlington oakville mississauga and you can go to toronto we're talking about a one hour drive one hour and a half now Oakfield is located on the very west side of Toronto so from Toronto if you want to take the highway you can come and pass the next city which is Mississauga and then Oakfield so let me activate the uh, map layer for the municipalities here you go so what we see here all these small sections with W or C some numbering here this is uh, Toronto. Now from Toronto, you take the highway, you come to the next city, which is Mississauga. Remember that <clears throat> the airport is somewhere around here. So, and we can have access to it through the highways. So on the from the bottom side of um, Mississauga, if you continue this highway, which is QW, you come all the way to Oakfield. This is the town of Oakfield. Now let's zoom back again. Give you a little bit of positioning here. So we have Mississauga, we have Brampton, we have Milton on the very north side of Oakfield. We have Burlington next to Oakfield. And then if you take the highway, you can come all the way down and you go to Niagara. Niagara Falls. All right. So let's let me get back to Oakfield. So what we see in Oakfield here is I'm going to tell you what's happening in Oakfield in terms of uh, roads and highways. You can have access to the south side of Toronto by using Highway 403 or we call it QW, Queen Elizabeth Highway. So that would take you from one side to the other side of Oakfield from the south part of it. From north part of it, there is highway 407 but 407 remember you have to uh, you have to pay but 403 or qw is free now qw goes all the way to uh, through mississauga goes all the way to toronto of course there is another way to go to toronto and that is to take <coughs> highway uh, qw you go to 403 from 403 you continue all the way to 401 and 401 would connect you to the, to the north side of Toronto at this end. So let's go back to Oakville again. So 
if I want to even give you more community layers, this is what you're going to see. All right. So we have what we see here in the map, there are 15 uh, community. I'm going to break them, break them down for you. Uh, let's start from the west side of Oakville. All right. So we have Palermo's west and Bronte west. Then we have everything in, in between. Now the north side of it is rural Oakville. That's a new area is growing. And from the bottom, we're going to see Bronte East, Old Oakville, East Lake. And then from this line, you're going to see Mississauga. So we stop right here. Now we have another <clears throat> neighborhood, which is a great neighborhood called Erie Coleridge North. And we have Erie Coleridge South as well. Now let me turn off the map for community and we keep the city there. Okay, so when you zoom in more, what's happening uh, from Oakville, from one side to another side, there are a few major streets I want you to know that will connect, connect you from east to the west side of Oakville. So on the, from the top, it, there's a street called Dundas. Let me zoom. Dundas Street West. Or East. Now, from the middle, we have another street connect you from East to West. We call it Upper Middle. From the South Side, after you pass by QW Highway, on the South Side, you're going to see Lakeshore Road East and West connect you from one side to the other side of Oakville. Now there are small, there are other streets, there is one here, Spears Road, that does the same thing. Uh, from north to south, there are few streets that will connect you from north side to south side. One is Trafalgar. Let me zoom. So that will take you from north to south. It's very much used right now. There's uh, construction happening to widen the road. Now another one is the third line from north to south. Of course, there are other streets that twist and turn, such as Dorval, but it, it's not a straight line from north to south. And we have Bronte, it goes from north to south. Now, let me explain to you a little bit of the neighborhoods that we have here. So let me get the satellite view of the city. All right. <clears throat> so what I want you to know here is south side of Oakville, we are talking about uh, very expensive homes. Some other homes you see here, they are bungalows. Uh, some of them, they need to be teared down and build a new one. And that's what you, you see here very often. Now, if you come a little bit north of this section, you are going to see some industrial neighborhood. All right. So I'm not sure if you're interested to drive in through the industrial neighborhood to get to your home. Some people, they like it. Some people, they don't care. But I want you to know what's happening right here. So these are all industrial neighborhood, industrial area. All right. Now comes the next area, which is very much in, in between the middle. These are more settled home, mature trees, nice homes, homes around 25 to uh, 35 years old, very settled neighborhood. And comes the newer area, which is very much north of Dundas. And as we speak, this area is under construction, as you can see. So we have bare lands here. Uh, this kind of land you see here in the map, they are under construction as we speak. So it is growing rapidly. Now, if you continue down this, soon you're going to get to the next city, which is Mississauga. So that access to the highway for three, let me just change the screen to map again. So this quick highway, the access to highway 403, and the next city, Mississauga, make this area very hot. So this area is very much in demand, it's very hot. The second reason for this area to be very much uh, in demand 
here is a quick access through Trafalgar all the way to two areas one is Schroeden College for those people who are going to the college also quick access to go train the go train we have two stations in Oakville and both would connect you from uh, east to west so if you take this go train it goes directly to the city of Toronto now the city uh, the second go train is Bronte at this end they are both under QW highway so this if you take Bronte south at this end you can come down and reach the go train you can come also from third line now the other thing that you have to know about the town of Oakville is where is the hospital let me zoom back here so the hospital the newer hospital that's been there for the last few years is a modern is a very uh, is a great hospital it's right there on the north side of third line so if I zoom here you go Oakfield Trafalgar Memorial Hospital this is a great hospital and all around here is also there are some developments happening right as we speak the next part of the city that is going under massive construction here is on Bronte just north of QW so all this area let me just change the screen to satellite see this area is all under construction as we speak so these are the two major part of the city that are right now under construction and apparently that's going to continue for the next few years so hospital is here and how long does it take to go from one side to other side let's say there is no traffic you can get from east to the west within I would say 15 to 20 minutes it's not very far right. so these are the things I wanted to talk to you uh, the position the location of Oakville and uh, Oakville also has a shopping mall right on the south side of Trafalgar right there changing the screen map again here you go so when you come from Dundas Trafalgar come all the way down you're passing by Shredding College then you're gonna see the Oakfield shopping mall right there okay so that's another part of Oakfield I want you to know hospital sharing all new homes so this is what we have as Oakville for you to know from here to airport it would take you approximately half an hour to 45 minutes to get to airport which is right here so from Oakville if you take 403 all the way to 401 you can go directly to airport or you can go from 407 go all the way and come down to the airport so that's the distance we have here so in the next few episodes we're going to talk about uh, why living in Oakfield versus Mississauga um, also Burlington's living condition versus Oakfield Milton as well and uh, I hope this episode helped you and if there is any question you have, give me a call at 647-407-4049. You can text me, you can call me, or you can simply send me an email. The email is uh, in the description part of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Every week or every few weeks, I am uh, making a new video to uh, explain to you exactly what you have and what you see in the city, in the town of uh, Oakville and um, some of you were asking about the price of homes uh, i'm going to explain to you in the next few episodes that is coming up i hope you'll enjoy it and hope to see you soon bye bye i hope you enjoyed this episode give me a call at 
4049 or you can text me you can call me or you can email me your questions and i'm always here to help you don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hope to see you